channel today's video is a food diary I just took my camera and filmed everything I ate for three days in a row I tend to like those videos on other channels I find them very inspiring and I get a lot of ideas what to eat so I hope you feel the same about my video one more thing before we get started I am a vegetarian so this means that everything in this video is obviously vegetarian so yeah Let's get started. I like to start my mornings with a cup of fresh green tea. And on this day, which was Saturday, I also chopped one apple. This right there is my current favorite jam, which is with orange. And I just take a bit of it and put it on a toast bread with a little bit of butter. As you can see, I also like to add lemon juice to my tea. And I also drink coffee with a little bit of soy milk. So this is what I had on Saturday morning. And for lunch, I made myself something I like to call cheesy French toast. So I just mix one egg with a little bit of soy milk and then I soak some toast bread in that mix. And I actually use two slices of bread and then I just fry them in the pan from both sides. And I also add some mayonnaise and sometimes I like to have some spicy sauce on there too. And finally, I just add some cheese. That's why I call it cheesy French toast. And here's the finished lunch. I also had a green smoothie with kale and an orange on the side. Afterwards, I had even more smoothies because I'm currently working on a smoothie recipe ebook for you guys. So I'm constantly trying out new recipes. That's why my fridge is just packed with smoothies all the time. In the afternoon, I had a cup of tea with cinnamon and orange flavor. For dinner, I wasn't so hungry, so I just went with a salad which contained tomatoes, green onions, a little bit of cashews and cucumbers, some shredded mozzarella cheese and then just a mixed salad. For my salad dressing I went with a French dressing and I also like to add some potato chips to my salads and these were with sea salt and rosemary. On Sunday I started my day with a bowl of a chopped apple and I put one tablespoon of chia seeds on there. I really like chia seeds because they're so high in protein. I also added some cranberries, a porridge mix and spelt granola and then I just topped it off with some soy milk and because I like to have a warm breakfast in the winter time I just put it in the microwave for a few minutes. Of course I had to have my coffee and my green tea and that was my breakfast for Sunday. On Sundays I like to go to the gym right after breakfast so I prepared myself a whey protein shake. This one is actually with vanilla white chocolate flavor which I really like. So I just uh, fill my shaker up with water and then I shake it. <laughs> This is really great because it contains all of the essential amino acids your body needs for muscle growth and recovery. And I also like to bring a drink to the gym, which also has like extra amino acids in there. This is me at my gym and here I'm drinking that sports drink. <laughs> Once I get home from the gym on Sundays, I'm usually really hungry. So we like to have vegetarian burgers on Sunday. And for this, I have my burger buns. And then as you saw, I had uh, one egg sunny side up. These are the vegetarian burger patties, they're with soy and then I just put a slice of cheese on my egg and here you can see the patties out of the box. I know they don't look super tasty but they are really really tasty. So I just put that egg on the patty and I also add some barbecue sauce and mayonnaise to my burger and then on the side we have the potatoes. So this is our Sunday lunch and I really love it, we have it every week. Afterwards, I had to have some green tea. I just really like the slightly bitter taste of green tea and I usually let mine steep for about three minutes. And I also had a little bit of chocolate with hazelnuts. Since the burgers keep me so full on Sundays, I usually just have a green smoothie in the evening. So I just take two oranges and two clementines and I mix them in my blender to kind of make myself my own juice. And then I just add a chunk of frozen spinach and one fresh banana and one tablespoon of the hemp protein powder, which is great after working out because it contains all essential amino acids your body needs. And this is what the finished green smoothie looks like. It is really tasty. I can definitely recommend it. At night, I made myself a cup of my favorite tea, which is the Cupper Sweet Dreams with lavender, chamomile and lemon balm. 
And this right there is my typical setup for our Sunday movie nights. Um, I usually have just a big tumbler of water and my tea. Monday started with another cup of green tea. And on this day, I made myself an egg. We have this really practical egg cooker. So all you have to do is fill it up with uh, water. And depending on how much water you use, you can have a hard, medium, a soft egg. And I like my medium. So all you do is pour it in there and put the lid on and press the button. <laughs> and that's it. With my egg, I also had one apple, one banana, um, one orange clementines and lychees from a can and of course coffee another smoothie and my green tea for lunch i made us chili con carne but of course vegetarian style with soy bolognese and i made us homemade garlic bread for this i just take some garlic a little bit of butter some garlic salt some chili flakes and oregano and thyme or thyme i don't know how do you say that and i just put that on the bread and then the bread goes in the oven for about 10 minutes and this is what my lunch looked like it was really tasty and of course super filling and it's great because it's so high in protein in the afternoon i had to have another tea <laughs> and for dinner i just smashed one banana and added one tablespoon of peanut butter some spelt granola and some rolled oats. I also added one portion of casein protein with cookie dough flavor. This is really great because this type of protein digests really slowly so your body gets the proteins it needs during the night if you've been working out. I really like the flavor of it so all I do is stir it up and then I put it in the microwave so it's a little bit warmer and that was my dinner. So this was my food diary. I really hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave me your feedback either in the comments or by giving me thumbs up or thumbs down so I know if you want me to do more videos of this type in the future and by the way I will of course keep you updated on that smoothie recipe ebook if you're interested so I will let you know once it's out thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video